Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use arrays in C Sharp. So what is an array? Array is a collection of similar data type values which you can store in a single variable. So let's see how we can declare arrays in C Sharp and how we can use them. So for example, you want to declare or you want to have a collection of numbers in a single variable. So for declaring the array, you can use int as a data type because you want the collection of integer values and then give this square bracket in front of the array. And then you give the name of uh, the array, for example, my array and then you initialize it like this is equal to new int and then you give the size of the array whatever number of value you want to save in the array for example four four values you want to save so this is how you declare array this is the data type and this square bracket tells C sharp that it's, it's an array. This is the name of uh, the variable array which is which contains int. We can see it from here. And we initialize this array with the value 4. So this means that this array will contain 4 values or can be able to contain 4 values. Now to assign value to the array, what you can do is, you can just copy your variable here and you can paste it and in the square bracket, the array, there is something called array index. So whatever you write here inside this square bracket is called the array index and array index starts from a zero, right? So, for example, I will write my array at index 0 is equal to some integer, for example, 3, okay. In the same way, our array can contain 4 values, right. So, I can just copy this and paste it 3 more times and I can change it, this index to 1, 2, 3. Because it starts from 0, so these are 4 values, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we can only save 4 values like this. You can also give any other number, for example 50, if you want to save 50 values. But for this example, just use, we are just using 4 values. And you can just change these values, for example 34, 37. 65. So in this way you can assign values to the array. So at the 0th index this value will be placed. At the first index of the array the value 34 will be placed. So in this way you can assign for every index a value. Now in order to print uh, the array or uh, print the values in the array or in order to access the values in the array, what you can do is you can access it by using console dot write, and you can access it directly. So inside this bracket, just use the name array and whatever index you want to access. For example, if you want to see the value at the index 1. So just you can give this square bracket and you can say I want to see this value at the index 1. So we are expecting the answer 34 because we want to access the index 1 of my array, right? I will run the program and let's see what's the answer. Yes, 34 is the answer, right? In a similar way you can access this value at the second index which is this one it will show us 37 right now 
what are the advantages of array advantages of array are whenever you want to store the collection of similar data type values you can use array okay so this uh, data type can be double or float or string so any built in data type you can use with the array right so it it can be initialized like this string and string so it will be a array of string values so if you declare it like, like this now you cannot assign these uh, string arrays uh, integer values so you need to have something like double quotes and then you can assign string values to string array right so just remember if you declare a string array you can only assign string value if you declare int array or double array you can only assign integer or double values right so advantage is you can store more than one values in an array so if you have the collection of similar data just save it now the disadvantage of the array is you cannot if you have initialized the array with an index you cannot assign the extra value to an array for example we have initialized our uh, array with 4 so it can only contain 4 value if you assign fifth value to the array for example 4 and this can be anything then once we try to run the program it will show us the error or exception not at the build time but at the run time so for example i want to access this 4 and i will run it and it will give us the error make sure that maximum index on the list is less than the list size okay so it's giving us this error so this is the disadvantage of using array you cannot increase the length of the array if you have already initialized it there are other method or other classes in c sharp which you can use which are which works better than array but for now just i want to demonstrate how you can use arrays in c sharp that's why in this way you can use arrays but in the further videos in the later videos i will show you the better ways of using the collection of similar data uh, in c sharp so i hope you have enjoyed or i hope you have understood this concept and i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now